Hey everybody, I thought I'd do a quick video. I'm about to jump on a coaching strategy, aka activating healing session with a client of mine. She's amazing, amazing healer. I'm looking at her ad copy and I thought I'd just have a little chat to you today about ad copy and what it really takes to ensure that it converts. And it's kind of following on. Hey Vera from I know your face from the video that I did yesterday in terms of what it really takes to have a million dollar funnel. And at the heart of it all, I was talking about, yes, connecting with heart and really that currency of connection and really understanding who it is you're speaking to deeply. And as I'm looking at this copy, the biggest thing here that is missing, hey, gorgeous Seely, hey, Monique, hey, everyone, hey, Hannah, hey, hey, hey. Um, is a really compelling title. So what you're trying to do, obviously, when people are scrolling on Facebook is to create, hey, Hannah, another beautiful copywriter and coach in my diva mind, which is amazing. I've got a class to my diva mind today too, which is my high-end mastermind. So we do strategy here, uh, trainings there as well. What I do when I'm actually coaching people is I get people to send me their copy, their funnels, I go through and edited and tweak it. A lot of you probably don't know. I started my career off at a current affair at 18. I'm a published writer, journalist. So I have a lot of experience in copy and understanding also through spending over hundreds and thousands of dollars on Facebook ads on what really connects and works. Hey, thank you, Deborah. So you really have to write an, a powerful title, a powerful hook to create that pattern interrupt. If you really want someone to stop, I mean, there's millions of ads, right? We're bombarded with so much noise. So I want you to take a moment. Number one, you need to know who it is that you're selling to and what it is they want. And you might want to start with a really, hey Mel, hey Rebel, a really compelling, beautiful, heart expanding question. Like, are you ready to stop struggling? Get the three sacred secrets to stand in your power and radically grow your income. You can't say triple your income because that's a claim and that will get blocked. So when you're writing case studies or talking about any income you've made, uh, then you're going to have to talk about your own uh, business or use a case study from a client. Like Sarah made 10K in the last 30 days, um, get the three sacred secrets to go from under earning to consistent 10K months or something like that. Um, so you're going to have to use someone's case study to verify it, otherwise it will be blocked. So that is all I have to share right now. I'm not gonna do a long video just because I do have to get on this call. Um, but I really wanna just urge you guys, if you're really trying to, cry, a lot of people have also been writing to me about messaging and crafting their own signature talks. And I wanna just invite you guys to start writing every single day. Hey Monique, if you want, if you want to get your message out, my advice, uh, I call it the courage copywriting process and, and it's where you'll get gold. You need to take the sensor off, right? You need to take the sensor off. And so what I mean by that is you're, you're going to have to share things from a deep, deep heart space that you've maybe never shared before and in a way that isn't constricted. You can't have deep financial growth and deep connection if you're always constricted, right? And we live in a culture that usually tells us to kind of pull back, don't be too much, don't take up space, um, speak quietly, keep it all down, like kind of like only, only go halfway. So my invitation to you is to go full way, start expressing yourself at a much, much, hey everyone, Melissa, at a much deeper level. So what I do, and I like to write early in the morning if you're a nighttime writer, I ask the creator, the creator of all that is, which is also part of us and the divine, hey gorgeous ones to come through me. And I would just invite you to start writing, writing, just write, do not censor, don't try to get the grammar all correct, hey Diva Melissa, just start create, cre sorry, writing and creating is a word that was coming through with courage and openness and just let it all spill out. And that will be the basis and the beginning of your creation, right? Hey, conformity is dead and does not serve you. Absolutely, no, not conformity, restriction, constriction. If you wanna be seen as an influencer, you need to lead. And in order to lead, you need to have a level of presence, 
authority, truth, authenticity. So here's an action for you. Over the next, say, five days, commit to sitting down in a sacred space, whether it's in an office early in the morning, if you've got kids, get up early, do this, and ask the divine to come through you, and just ask yourself, what do I want to say? What most needs to be heard? And just let it spill onto the page. Let it just flow out, right? I wrote an ad that's doing really well at the moment about my $5,000 shopping spree that I had, right? And um, I'll, I do these little kind of manifesting exercises for myself and I just have fun with it and I went into this shop and I was telling the story the other day when I was doing my talk and one pair of my leather pants was just too tight and I'm like either one leg is you know a lot fatter than the other or you know someone has <laughs> made these pants wrong and I'm going to go back and see and so I went back to the store and I was just like whatever and they kept bringing me all these uh, clothes and I decided to just buy them all I said well heck I got the cash, which was quite surprising because I know what it's also like to hustle and I just had the cash and I was like, I'm gonna just spend 5K, cool. And then I thought, well, I have the money. This is easy for me to do now, um, but I wanna replace that income. I wanna, I wanna kind of, uh, what's the word? Kind of go into another realm of replacing that income. And I gave myself a couple of days and I set the intention to bring in the, at least 10K to replace that income. And what did I do? I just tuned in to having already received it. I saw the number in my bank account and I just started doing videos, reaching out to students, clients, speaking my truth and just calling it in. And I sold, I think two, I can't even remember what I sold, whether it was for my diva mind or for my mastermind diva mind or whether it was private time with me, I can't remember, but I called in that cash. So what I do there is obviously I'm not holding back. I'm not acting like a mouse. I'm speaking up, I'm calling people in, I'm activating. Uh, sometimes it's really great to have a really clear intent. What do you want the money for? You know, is it a new bathroom, a kitchen? Is it to buy a new house? Is it to build a uh, rock star funnel? Um, is it to hire a strategist or ad manager to help you? Whatever it is, really claim the desire of what you want the money for. Anyway, I wrote this um, copy one day, I just got up in the morning and I thought, I'm gonna tell that story about what it was like for me to go into the store and buy those clothes and then turn around and replace and double that income, double the expense. So it was 5K and then I did the 10K. And I wrote this passionate story about that journey for me and then invited people to go, go into my free program, right into my free training. Uh, so there was a call to action at the end. So using story is an incredibly powerful way to connect with your audience, right? So. Just to reiterate the action today, the diva, million dollar diva ritual for today is to just start writing. Just start writing. My client's saying she's late as well, so that's great where, where this is aligned. So start writing every day and just allow it to come through. Ask for divine support. I never work alone. I'm always connected to a higher power, the power that is within me and channeled through me, seeing, seeing that golden light coming through and then seeing the words just come out and I allow myself to just write whatever the F I'm feeling in all my truth and honesty. So is everyone getting, can I get an amen? Is everyone clear on what action I want you to take today? Do not censor yourself, just write, 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 write. And then you can take that gold and then craft it into something that could be ad copy, it could be uh, part of a pitch for a sales page. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hey everyone, hey gorgeous ones, hey Sunita, hey everyone. So I'm gonna go, I'm sending you guys so much love. Um, if you're not part of my, hey Mel, if you're not part of my free group, I'll put up the link, amen Belinda gorgeous. If you're um, not part of my free group, then I'll put up the link, but it's High End Empire, join my free group. I'm gonna have a challenge coming up really soon. Uh, if you guys haven't watched my free webinar training, I talk about how I sold really in detail, how I build my mastermind, how I sell out my programs, how I did 400K uh, in two weeks and what I exactly did and the strategy behind that. I have a free masterclass training at sevenfigurediva.com. Uh, that's all free. Uh, check it out. Hey, Catherine. 
Hey, Celia again, disruptive question, absolutely. Absolutely, and really practice writing your disruptive questions. They can be used for your live streams, ad copy. Um, a great way to really get traction is to take your live streams and make them into ads, right? Um, just make sure that you don't use the F word, any cuss words will be blocked. Uh, so, you know, it's, it, that's also frustrating for me because, oh my gosh, you know, everyone here probably knows I like to swear a little bit. Okay, guys, so that's why I'm always coming up with words like kazuzu and all those sorts of words because I'm really wanting to say the F word, but I can't say it. Hey, Brie. Hey, everyone. So I'm sending you so much love, and I just really want to invite you to tap into uh, that divine abundance, really, at the end of the day. There's always the polarity, and I talked a lot about that the other day of suffering in the world and war and famine. And really, at the end of the day, the point that I made there is that it's not money's fault, right? Money is an innocent. The reason that we have warm famine and starvation, hey, Nikki, hey, Laurie, is because of man and power struggles, right? Power, power that is used to over, overpower others. But when we come into a presence of divine power, money combined with love is one of the most powerful healing tools on the planet, as we know, right? So if you have any feeling of shame around charging for your services, or one guy from your event just pitched me Lockie, <laughs> and I think the most, one of the most profound uh, shifts for me over the last little while through doing this speaking was also seeing um, the men be touched by the message and they're now calling themselves Devo for the, ma for the masculine, for the, the divine, for the divine man. Um, that has broken my heart open on a whole new level. But with money, yes, so when the vibration around money is for growth and consciousness and healing and service, uh, it has a profound level to bring global change. So if you have any shame, like I had a client today, she's an amazing healer, she's done really well financially very quickly, but she said that she still feels like she's holding herself back on her sales calls. And because there's this level of shame and, and concern about her being pushy and what people might think of her. And I said, but darling, it's not your, it's not your concern, right? What they think of you. Otherwise, they're not activated, not calling them into action. And I think that's a really beautiful example of where shame needs to be released and where we need to give ourselves permission. Otherwise, we are constricting ourselves. And so it's very hard to then receive. Um, so it's kind of the opposite of what we're kind of sometimes told to do in life. And so I understand that it's a big shift, but if you can really start to visualize and see the shame being released as you give yourself permission to open up your throat chakra, speak your truth, speak about the, your money with high love and IQ and, and really claim it, you know, the more and more that I just kind of I'm truthful and honest with people about my work and really value my work and what I have to contribute in the way I can serve others. I have people coming to me lining up like to work with me. Um, when we are doing sales calls, like my sales team will give people a link to pay and to pay directly on the call. We we it's not pushy. It's just like, well, what does, what choice do you want to make? If you don't want to work with us, don't work with us. Hey, Leah, Leah's one of the girls on my team. Here's the payment link. You want to pay? Let's get this party started. When you also build a lot of social proof and credibility in the marketplace, uh, people pay and people want to pay. They are a heck yes. They're ready to begin. And it's, I was saying to my client, imagine it being one of the most easy, effortless, loving exchanges. That's what it can be like. Don't bring all this baggage and stuff to a conversation and expect it to be this miraculous, juicy um, ascension, right? Just bring your love and put all that stuff outside that door, show up in full presence because people want to be served. They want to be helped. And if, if they're ready to go, 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 which is what you want to be attracting, people that are ready to go and move, um, it's, it's honoring them by being clear. It's honoring them by, you're not pushy, it's just being clear. And if they don't want to buy, that's okay. And if you get a no, that's okay. You just stay in your lane. You keep going and keep focused on your million dollar or million dollar plus business 
and serving people with heart and having people come in that are a heck yes, that they are ready. Okay, guys, I'm sending you so much love. Have a beautiful day. Blessings. And I can't turn this off. <laughs>